Introduction In a picturesque corner of the world, far removed from the hustle and bustle of modernity, there lay a charming little town known as Willowbrook. This idyllic settlement was a hidden gem, nestled between rolling hills that seemed to embrace it with open arms, and lush greenery that painted the landscape in a vivid tapestry of colours. Willowbrook was a place where time moved at a slower pace, where the days drifted lazily by, and where the air was filled with the sweet scent of wildflowers in the spring and the comforting rustle of leaves in the fall. Amidst this tranquil setting resided a woman named Emily, a figure of strength and grace in a community that thrived on close-knit bonds and simple, honest living. Emily was a single mother, a title she had come to wear with dignity and a quiet resolve. Her life had taken an unexpected and heart-wrenching turn when her beloved husband, Henry, met a tragic end in a fateful accident. The loss of her soulmate left Emily not only with a void in her heart, but also with the immense responsibility of raising their beloved daughter, Lily. The story we unfold is one of resilience, a journey through the unforgiving landscapes of hardships and heartache that tested the very limits of human endurance. Emily and Lily, two souls intertwined by blood, embarked on this arduous path hand in hand, facing the cruel hands of fate with unwavering determination. Their trials would serve as a crucible, forging bonds stronger than the toughest steel and teaching them that even in the darkest moments, the human spirit has an innate capacity to endure, evolve, and emerge stronger. Amidst their trials, the bedrock of their journey lay in love. Love for each other, and a love that they felt from the tight-knit community of Willowbrook. In this story, you will witness the transformative power of a mother's love as Emily strives to provide for her daughter and the unwavering love of Lily, who becomes a pillar of strength in her own right. As the pages of this narrative unfold, you will come to appreciate how a resilient family can rise above adversity and find happiness even in the face of overwhelming odds. It is a testament to the remarkable capacity of the human spirit to not only endure, but also to thrive, to forge bonds, and to emerge from the crucible of suffering with a renewed sense of purpose and unity. In the following chapters, we will delve into the various phases of their journey, from the gentle beginnings in Willowbrook to the challenging moments that put their resilience to the test. You will witness the emergence of silver linings, the kindness of neighbours, and the power of community, which, together, will guide Emily and Lily on their path to becoming a happy, united family. Chapter 1. A Gentle Beginning In the heart of Willowbrook, where time seemed to dance at a leisurely pace, Emily and Lily found solace in their humble cottage. Nestled within a lush garden adorned with vibrant blossoms, their dwelling exuded an air of tranquility and simplicity. The cottage was adorned with dainty lace curtains that swayed with the breeze and polished wooden floors that creaked softly underfoot, giving the space a sense of warmth and familiarity. It was in this quaint abode that the seeds of their remarkable journey were sown. Emily, a woman with an unassuming grace and gentle demeanor, was the anchor of this modest household. Her auburn hair, peppered with strands of silver, framed a face that had known both joy and sorrow, and her deep, thoughtful eyes carried a story of their own. Her voice, often soft and soothing, held the wisdom of someone who had weathered life's storms. Her hands, though calloused from years of work, possessed the power to heal, comfort, and guide. 
Lily, Emily's cherished daughter, was a radiant little girl with wide, curious eyes that reflected the world's wonder. She had inherited her mother's spirit, one marked by resilience and an eagerness to embrace life's offerings. With rosy cheeks and a mischievous grin, Lily was the embodiment of innocence and hope. Her laughter filled their home, turning it into a sanctuary of love and understanding. Their days began with the gentle rays of the morning sun filtering through their lace curtains, casting intricate patterns on the walls. Emily would rise early to prepare a hearty breakfast, filling the cottage with the aroma of freshly brewed coffee and buttered toast. As Lily stirred from her dreams, she would be greeted by the comforting presence of her mother, and they would sit together at the worn wooden table, sharing breakfast and whispered secrets. Their life may have lacked the grandeur of material wealth, but it overflowed with the riches of love and companionship. Emily and Lily reveled in the simple pleasures, taking long walks through the rolling hills that surrounded Willowbrook, their footsteps echoing with laughter. They would collect wildflowers and build intricate stories around the wonders of nature, creating a world of magic and adventure. In the evenings, their modest home would be bathed in the soft glow of a flickering candle, casting a warm embrace over the room. Emily would read stories to Lily, her gentle voice bringing to life the characters and places from the pages of their cherished books. It was during these precious moments that Emily nourished Lily's curiosity and love for storytelling, planting the seeds of imagination that would one day set her on an extraordinary path. Their life was a testament to the belief that happiness could be found in the most unassuming corners of existence. As they drifted to sleep each night, their hearts were full of gratitude for the gentle beginning they had, an enduring foundation that would serve them well in the tumultuous times that lay ahead. Chapter 1 marked the inception of Emily and Lily's remarkable journey a journey that would be tested and transformed by the challenges and tribulations that life had in store for them. It was a chapter of contentment and cherished moments, a beautiful prelude to the story of a mother and daughter who, through their love and resilience, would emerge stronger, and ultimately, as a happy, united family. Chapter 2. The Storm Clouds Gather in the peaceful enclave of Willowbrook, where life unfolded like the ebb and flow of a calm river, it was inevitable that change would come. As Emily and Lily enjoyed the blissful days of their gentle beginning, little did they know that a storm was silently gathering on the horizon, threatening to disrupt their idyllic existence. It was a season of transition, and the winds of change swept through the town, carrying whispers of uncertainty. Economic turmoil had cast a shadow over Willowbrook, and the once thriving industries were now mere echoes of their former selves. Jobs were scarce, and the town's once fertile fields lay dormant. The economic hardships had begun to touch the lives of the town's inhabitants, including Emily. Emily had been employed at the local bakery, a job that had provided a modest income and a sense of purpose. However, as the bakery struggled to stay afloat in the face of dwindling customers, it became clear that sacrifices would have to be made. Emily found herself among the unfortunate who were laid off, her job lost to the tides of economic uncertainty. The weight of this news hung heavy in the air, and Emily, for the first time since becoming a widow, felt a wave of despair. Her face, once adorned with the soft lines of contentment, 
now bore the telltale signs of worry and sleepless nights. She worried for Lily, her precious daughter, who was blissfully unaware of the storm that threatened to engulf their lives. Lily, though still tender in years, was not blind to her mother's distress. She observed the furrowed brow and the weariness that clung to Emily's eyes like a shadow. She tried her best to comfort her mother, offering hugs and whispered words of encouragement. The bond between them grew even stronger during these trying times, and Lily's innocence was a source of solace for Emily. With no steady source of income, Emily found herself grappling with the daunting prospect of making ends meet. Their cottage, which had once been a haven of peace, now stood as a symbol of vulnerability. The threat of losing their home, the very heart of their life together, loomed large, and Emily was gripped by a growing sense of desperation. But it was in these moments of adversity that Emily's character shone the brightest. She had not borne the title of a single mother with grace for naught. Her determination to shield Lily from the storm of hardship, like a steadfast oak in the midst of a tempest, was unyielding. Emily knew that she had to find a way to provide for her daughter, to restore the sense of security they had known in their gentle beginning. As the storm clouds gathered overhead, Emily's resilience and the love she held for her daughter would be tested like never before. It was in these turbulent times that the true strength of a mother's spirit would reveal itself, setting the stage for the unfolding chapters of their story. The road ahead was uncertain, but Emily would stop at nothing to ensure that the love and warmth within their home would endure, regardless of the challenges they faced. Chapter 3 – The Weight of Responsibility as the storm clouds loomed over Willowbrook, the weight of responsibility bore down heavily upon Emily's shoulders. She was a single mother, now without steady employment, and the well-being of her cherished daughter, Lily, rested solely on her shoulders. In this chapter of their life's journey, the relentless burden of providing for their family, amidst a town grappling with economic hardship, became an unrelenting test of her strength and resilience. Each morning, Emily awoke with the knowledge that their future was uncertain, and the demands of life had multiplied exponentially. To support her family, she took on whatever work she could find. She worked long hours, often taking on multiple part-time jobs, doing everything from cleaning houses to waitressing at the local diner. The toil was unending, and the physical and emotional toll it took on her was palpable. The cottage, once filled with the sweet aroma of Emily's home-cooked meals and the sound of Lily's laughter, now felt more like a mere shelter from the elements. Their life, once marked by the leisurely pace of a town that celebrated simplicity, had transformed into a relentless juggling act, where every minute counted, and every penny was stretched to its limit. Emily's days were a whirlwind of activity, and her nights were filled with the constant worry of how to make ends meet. Her once bright eyes, now clouded with exhaustion, betrayed her inner turmoil. She yearned for more time with Lily, to be the mother she longed to be, but life had other plans. Their mother-daughter moments became fleeting, and the heartache Emily felt at being unable to provide the care and attention that Lily deserved weighed heavily on her. Lily, still in her formative years, was forced to mature beyond her age, taking on new responsibilities at home. 
She understood the dire circumstances and willingly helped her mother in any way she could. She was a source of inspiration to Emily, her presence a constant reminder of why she needed to keep pushing forward, even when the weight of their responsibilities threatened to crush her spirit. Despite the trials that beset them, Emily's love for Lily remained unwavering. She often found herself gazing at her daughter as she slept, a tear in her eye, marveling at the resilience of this young soul who had adapted to their new reality with grace and understanding. Lily's innocence and love were Emily's refuge, providing the strength she needed to persevere through the toughest of times. In this chapter of their story, Emily's determination to shield Lily from the harsh realities of their world was unwavering. She sacrificed her own comfort to ensure that her daughter would not go to bed hungry, that she had clothes to wear, and that she could continue to attend school. Emily bore the weight of their family's future with unwavering strength, a symbol of a mother's enduring love and the lengths she would go to protect her child. As they navigated this period of turmoil, Emily and Lily clung to the hope that this storm, too, would pass. Their cottage, once a sanctuary of peace and love, remained the center of their lives a place where they still found moments of connection amidst the chaos. The challenges of life, while formidable, served to further strengthen the bond between mother and daughter, shaping them into individuals who could weather any storm. The weight of responsibility, though heavy, only served to reinforce their shared determination to overcome adversity. Together, they were a testament to the extraordinary strength of the human spirit and the power of a mother's love, a love that would endure and ultimately lead them to brighter days in the chapters yet to come. Chapter 4 The Unforeseen Obstacle As Emily and Lily navigated the storm of hardship that had swept through Willowbrook, they faced an unforeseen obstacle that would challenge their resilience and test the limits of their strength. Their story, one of love, determination, and unwavering family bonds, had been marked by hardships, but this new challenge was to be their greatest trial yet. The sun had begun to shine a bit more brightly, hinting at the possibility of better days. Emily had managed to secure a few more hours of work, providing them with some much-needed financial stability. Lily's school attendance remained a priority, and despite the hardships, she continued to excel in her studies. Their evenings, though still punctuated by fatigue, had grown somewhat lighter as they began to regain their sense of equilibrium. However, in the midst of their fragile stability, a sudden, unforeseen obstacle emerged. Lily, the heart of their home and the embodiment of hope, fell gravely ill. Her laughter, which had once filled their cottage with joy, was replaced by the weak tremor of a frail child. The fever, the cough, and the listlessness that overcame her sent shockwaves of fear through Emily's heart. The meagre savings Emily had painstakingly accumulated during their time of hardship were quickly depleted as she sought medical treatment for her daughter. Hospital visits, diagnostic tests, and medications all came at a staggering cost. Emily, now stretched to the limit, had to rely on the goodwill of friends and family to cover the mounting medical bills. The nights were the hardest for Emily as she sat by Lily's bedside, watching over her daughter with a sense of helplessness she had never known before. 
Her heart ached as she listened to Lily's soft cries of discomfort, and she would give anything to take her daughter's place in that bed of suffering. The weight of the responsibility of being both mother and provider bore down on her, and her spirit began to waver under the strain. In the midst of this trying time, the support of their community took on a newfound significance. Neighbors and friends rallied around Emily and Lily, offering assistance with household chores, providing meals, and even taking turns to sit with Lily when Emily had to work to cover the mounting bills. The kindness of their community, particularly that of Mrs. Anderson, their neighbor, shone like a beacon of hope in their darkest hour. Mrs. Anderson, a woman of experience and wisdom, became a pillar of support for Emily. She was there to offer comforting words, a listening ear, and her unwavering presence during the times when Emily needed to be at work. The strength of their community's compassion and the resilience of their shared bonds were a testament to the power of unity in the face of adversity. As the weeks passed, Lily's condition began to improve. Her strength slowly returned, and the color returned to her cheeks. The sound of her laughter, like a precious melody, once again graced their home. Emily, who had faced the daunting challenge of her daughter's illness with a tenacity born of love, felt a profound sense of gratitude for Lily's recovery and the unwavering support of those who had come to their aid. Chapter 4 was a turning point in their story, one that brought them to the brink of despair but also highlighted the power of resilience and the compassion of their community. It was a chapter marked by the unexpected obstacles life throws in the path of every family, reminding us that even in the darkest of moments, the bonds of love and unity can prevail. Emily and Lily had faced this obstacle together, and it would strengthen their resolve for the challenges that still lay ahead on their journey toward becoming a happy, united family. Chapter 5 a beacon of light. After the harrowing ordeal of Lily's illness, a glimmer of hope emerged in the form of a beacon of light that illuminated the lives of Emily and her beloved daughter. This chapter marked a turning point in their journey, as they began to find their way out of the darkness that had clouded their lives. With Lily on the path to recovery, Emily's heart was lighter, but her financial burden remained. The medical bills from Lily's illness continued to pile up, and the prospect of paying them off seemed insurmountable. Emily knew that her meager earnings couldn't cover the mounting debts, and despair threatened to take hold once more. It was during this time that their neighbor, Mrs. Anderson, stepped forward as an unexpected source of support and compassion. Emily had always admired Mrs. Anderson's strength and grace, and she had often exchanged pleasantries with her over the picket fence that separated their properties. But now, Mrs. Anderson's kindness would become an enduring source of inspiration. One evening, as Emily sat on her porch, the weight of her worries etched across her face, she saw Mrs. Anderson approaching with a covered dish in hand. Mrs. Anderson had prepared a warm, home-cooked meal for the struggling mother and daughter. As she handed the dish to Emily, she offered words of solace and encouragement, assuring her that they would overcome this challenge together. Over time, Mrs. Anderson's visits became a regular occurrence. She would sit with Emily, listening to her concerns and sharing stories of her own life experiences. Through these conversations, Emily began to realize that she wasn't alone in her struggles, 
the others had faced adversity and emerged stronger. Mrs. Anderson's support extended beyond mere companionship. She used her connections in the community to help organize a fundraiser for Emily and Lily. Word quickly spread throughout Willowbrook about the plight of their beloved neighbor, and the townspeople, touched by the hardships Emily had endured, came together to offer their support. The fundraiser was a resounding success, raising a substantial amount of money to alleviate Emily's financial burden. The outpouring of love and generosity from the community left Emily and Lily in awe. It was a testament to the power of unity and compassion, a reminder that even in times of hardship, there were beacons of light that could guide one out of the darkest of tunnels. With the medical bills finally being paid off, Emily's shoulders felt lighter. She was no longer drowning in debt, and the weight of financial uncertainty had been lifted. Her relationship with Mrs. Anderson deepened, and she became not just a neighbor but a true friend and confidant. As the days turned into weeks and then months, Emily and Lily began to regain their footing. Their life had transformed from one of despair to one of renewed hope. The lessons they had learned from Mrs. Anderson and the unwavering support of their community had instilled in them a sense of resilience, a belief that they could overcome any obstacle life threw their way. In this chapter, Emily and Lily's story demonstrated the remarkable impact that acts of kindness and community support can have in the face of adversity. Mrs. Anderson's generosity and the rallying of their neighbors became the beacon of light that guided them out of the darkness of hardship, renewing their faith in the goodness of humanity and reminding them that they were never truly alone in their struggles. Chapter 6, The Community Rallies The newfound support from their community, ignited by Mrs. Anderson's compassion and the successful fundraiser, marked a transformative period in the lives of Emily and Lily. In Chapter 6, we delve into the heartwarming tale of how the people of Willowbrook rallied around this single mother and her daughter, offering assistance and love that illuminated their path toward a brighter future. As word of the fundraiser's success spread throughout the town, a sense of solidarity enveloped Willowbrook. Neighbors and friends continued to provide assistance, extending their help in various ways. Some offered their time to assist with household chores and childcare, while others contributed essential groceries and supplies. The community's collective effort to alleviate the financial burden on Emily was a testament to the warmth and unity of the town. People from all walks of life, inspired by the spirit of giving, extended a helping hand. Local businesses, once struggling themselves, offered discounted services and goods to ease the strain on Emily's budget. It was a heartwarming display of the town's resilience and its commitment to taking care of its own. But it wasn't just material support that Emily and Lily received. The emotional backing of the community became a source of strength during their challenging times. Neighbors stopped by for visits, shared stories, and offered words of encouragement. Children from the town included Lily in their games, helping her feel a sense of normalcy despite the upheaval in their lives. The local school played a crucial role in ensuring Lily's continued education. Teachers and school administrators, recognizing the young girl's potential, made accommodations to help her stay on track academically. This commitment to Lily's education was a testament to the collective belief in the town that every child deserved a fair chance in life. 
Throughout this chapter, Emily learned a profound lesson about the power of community. It wasn't just about financial support, it was about the network of relationships, the shared values, and the love and empathy that bound the people of Willowbrook together. In the face of adversity, they had become an extended family, a safety net for a single mother and her daughter, ensuring they wouldn't fall through the cracks. The town's unwavering support rekindled Emily's sense of hope. She was deeply moved by the kindness she encountered, which often brought her to tears of gratitude. It was in these moments that she realized her family extended far beyond her and Lily, it encompassed the whole of Willowbrook. As time passed, Emily and Lily began to regain their footing. Emily secured a more stable job that allowed her to provide for their family more comfortably. Lily's education continued to flourish, and her connection with her schoolmates deepened. Their cottage, once a source of concern, was now a symbol of resilience and the warmth of the community that had stood by them. Chapter 6 serves as a reminder of the incredible impact a supportive community can have in times of need. The people of Willowbrook demonstrated the strength of unity, the power of empathy, and the ability of a small town to come together to uplift one of its own. Through their support, Emily and Lily's story took a turn toward hope, resilience, and the promise of a brighter future. Chapter 7 The Silver Lining With the support of their tight-knit community, Emily and Lily's journey continued to evolve in Chapter 7, as the dark clouds of their past trials began to recede. This chapter highlighted their ability to find silver linings in their lives, even when faced with adversity, and their growing resilience in the face of challenges. With Emily's new job, their financial situation improved significantly. She was able to provide for their basic needs without constantly worrying about their meager resources. The stability of her employment allowed her to work regular hours and be present more often in Lily's life. It marked a return to the simpler joys they had shared before their world had been turned upside down. Lily continued to thrive academically, and the close-knit nature of their community had allowed her to build meaningful relationships with her classmates. The local school was more than an educational institution, it was a place of support and encouragement, helping Lily maintain her sense of normalcy during challenging times. The challenges they had faced together had not broken Emily and Lily but had instead fortified their bond. Their mother-daughter relationship had transformed into something even more profound. They had seen each other at their most vulnerable, and their love for one another had deepened as a result. As Emily's worries about their financial stability diminished, she was finally able to spend more quality time with Lily. Their shared moments became an oasis in the midst of their often hectic lives. They returned to their cherished traditions, like taking long walks through the rolling hills that surrounded Willowbrook and collecting wildflowers. The cottage that had once been a source of concern now felt like a true home. The warmth of their community had instilled a sense of belonging, and the memories they had created during their trials had transformed their modest abode into a place of strength and resilience. Even as they celebrated the silver linings in their lives, Emily and Lily never forgot the kindness they had received from their neighbors and friends. Gratitude became a guiding principle in their lives, 
and they were determined to pay the kindness they had received forward. Their story was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the strength of community, and the unbreakable bond between a mother and her daughter. They had weathered the storms of adversity and found the silver linings that shone through the dark clouds of their past hardships. As Chapter 7 came to a close, Emily and Lily faced a brighter future, knowing that their journey was far from over. The challenges they had encountered had shaped them into individuals who had learned to appreciate life's simple joys and to find strength in the face of adversity. Their story continued to inspire and offer hope to those who crossed their path, a reminder that even in the most challenging circumstances, there was always a silver lining waiting to be discovered. Chapter 8 Rebuilding Trust In the narrative of Emily and Lily's life, Chapter 8 marked a significant turning point in their journey. It was a chapter about rebuilding trust, both in themselves and in their future, as they sought to overcome the scars left by past hardships and to find a new sense of purpose and direction. As Emily's financial situation stabilized and her bond with Lily deepened, they found themselves standing on more solid ground. The weight of the immediate financial burdens had been lifted, and the threat of losing their home had been averted. However, the emotional scars of their difficult past still lingered, affecting their perception of their own capabilities. Emily had faced tremendous pressure as a single mother and provider, and the time-consuming, low-paying job she had taken on had limited her ability to spend quality time with Lily. The strain on their relationship had been tangible, and the young girl had often felt the absence of her mother's undivided attention. Rebuilding trust and mending the emotional distance that had emerged between them was a new challenge they faced. The healing process began with open communication. Emily and Lily started to share their feelings, thoughts, and fears with one another. Emily expressed her remorse for not being there for Lily during the darkest moments of her illness while Lily revealed her longing for more quality time together. As their conversations deepened, they also shared their dreams for the future. Emily encouraged Lily to dream big and aim for the stars, assuring her that they would find a way to overcome any obstacles in their path. Their shared aspirations and the promise of a brighter future served as a bridge to rebuilding their trust. Community support played a crucial role in the trust-building process. The connections they had fostered during their time of need continued to strengthen. Emily and Lily's relationships with their neighbors, who had once helped them during their darkest days, grew even more profound. These connections, rooted in empathy and kindness, became a source of reassurance for the two. Mrs. Anderson, the beacon of support who had played a pivotal role in their lives, remained a constant source of guidance and wisdom. Her presence served as a reminder that they were never truly alone and that their community would stand by them in any challenge they faced. With time, Emily's newfound financial stability allowed her to dedicate more hours to her daughter. They engaged in activities they both enjoyed, such as gardening, reading, and cooking. These shared moments served to reinforce their bond and nurture the trust they were rebuilding. The lessons of resilience, gratitude, and the importance of a loving family stayed with Emily and Lily. Their journey through adversity had transformed them into individuals who appreciated life's simple joys.
and had learned to find strength in their enduring bond. As chapter 8 came to an end, Emily and Lily continued to work on rebuilding the trust that had been shaken during their difficult times. They looked ahead to the future with a renewed sense of purpose and unity. Their story was a testament to the power of resilience, the importance of open communication, and the enduring strength of a mother-daughter relationship. The challenges of their past had become stepping stones toward a brighter, more trusting future. Chapter 9 A New Beginning In the ongoing journey of Emily and Lily, Chapter 9 marked a pivotal moment of transition and renewal. This chapter symbolized their emergence from the shadows of hardship, and it depicted their pursuit of a brighter future, laden with dreams and aspirations, as they sought to build upon the trust they had rebuilt in the previous chapter. The stability in Emily's job allowed them to regain their financial footing, relieving them of the immediate burden of making ends meet. With their basic needs more securely met, Emily and Lily found themselves with the luxury of time, a precious commodity they hadn't had in years. This newfound freedom became the catalyst for their new beginning. Lily's education, which had been a constant in their lives even during the darkest days of their journey, was now a beacon of hope. Her determination to excel in her studies had only grown stronger, and she was recognized by her teachers as an outstanding student. Encouraged by her mother, her teachers, and the community's support, Lily started to set her sights on higher educational goals, daring to dream of a brighter future. Emily, too, began to look forward with hope. Her stable employment allowed her to envision a life beyond the day-to-day -day struggles. She contemplated taking evening classes to further her own education and broaden her career prospects. The dreams that had once been stifled by the weight of her responsibilities started to rekindle. The community's support remained a constant in their lives. Their neighbors and friends continued to be pillars of strength and kindness. The bonds they had forged during the most challenging times of their journey only deepened, as they found new ways to support and encourage one another. The town of Willowbrook itself played a role in their new beginning. As they observed the community's resilience in the face of economic challenges, they began to see opportunities for involvement and growth. Emily joined a local women's group, where she found camaraderie and support. Lily participated in community activities and made new friends, further enriching her life. Mrs. Anderson their trusted neighbor and confidant, offered wisdom and guidance as they embarked on their new beginning. She shared her own experiences of rebuilding and renewal, inspiring Emily and Lily to embrace the possibilities that lay ahead. With their trust rebuilt and a newfound sense of hope, Emily and Lily's mother-daughter relationship continued to strengthen. They spent more quality time together, celebrating their shared dreams and cherishing the simple joys of life. Their cottage, once a symbol of struggle, had now become a place of hope and dreams. As Chapter 9 came to a close, Emily and Lily found themselves at a turning point in their lives. Their journey was no longer marked solely by adversity and hardship, it had evolved into a story of resilience, trust, and the pursuit of dreams. The new beginning they faced was a testament to the enduring human spirit, 
the power of community, and the strength of a mother-daughter relationship. It was a testament to the belief that, even in the face of adversity, new horizons and brighter futures could be sought and realized. Chapter 10 A Happy Family In the final chapter of Emily and Lily's story, the narrative reached its culminating moment as they transitioned into a phase of life that had once felt out of reach, a state of contentment and fulfillment that could only be described as a happy family. Their journey, marked by adversity, hardship, resilience, and community support, had brought them to a point where their aspirations had begun to take root and the wounds of their past struggles were gradually healing. Chapter 10 embodied the realization of their dreams and the transformation of their mother-daughter bond into a cornerstone of strength and joy. Lily's academic achievements had continued to flourish, and her dreams of higher education had taken shape. She had applied and been accepted into a prestigious university, a testament to her hard work and determination. Her dreams of becoming a teacher, inspired by her mother's unwavering support and their shared love of learning, were now within her grasp. Emily had pursued evening classes, furthering her own education and career prospects. The stability of her job and the financial security they now enjoyed had allowed her to dream beyond the horizon. Her dream of a career in social work, born from her experiences and the kindness she had received, was no longer just an aspiration. It was becoming a reality. The community that had played such a vital role in their journey continued to be a source of strength. Neighbors and friends celebrated their achievements and shared in their happiness. The bonds of their community had grown even stronger, fortified by the trials they had faced together. The cottage, which had once represented their struggles, was now a symbol of their dreams coming to fruition. Their home was filled with laughter, dreams, and the sense of accomplishment. The walls seemed to radiate the warmth and love that had grown within them, creating a sanctuary of happiness. Mrs. Anderson, the wise neighbor and friend who had played a pivotal role in their lives, remained a constant presence in their lives. She continued to offer guidance and support reminding them of the journey they had taken and the strength they had discovered within themselves. As Emily and Lily embraced their new beginning, they did so with open hearts and dreams that had transformed into reality. Their dreams of higher education, new careers, and a brighter future were no longer distant wishes. They were tangible achievements that they celebrated together as a family that had weathered the storms of life and had emerged stronger and happier. Chapter 10 was the culmination of their journey, a testament to the power of resilience, community, and unwavering determination. It was a celebration of a mother's love and the potential of a strong mother-daughter bond to overcome any adversity. It was a story of dreams realized, hope rekindled, and the journey toward becoming a truly happy family. Emily and Lily had shown that even in the face of the most daunting challenges, the human spirit could thrive, and happiness could be found, nurtured, and cherished.